Hey YouTube, Blastoise Rules back again today, and uh, I've got a BCBM from Troll and Toad to share with you guys. So I've got roughly 25 or so cards here. Um, ordered a few Yu-Gi-Oh! too that I sold to a, a friend slash co-worker of mine um, that he wanted me to get for him. But uh, first, Troll and Toad... I really don't like them. Um, here's this non holo rare, okay? If you look on the card, it's like black all over the card. There's like, I don't know if it's dirt or mold or something, but you can see the back. It's really not good condition. You could see, it's probably harder to see on camera than it is in person, but it looks horrible in person, okay? And they tell me this is a near mint condition card. I hate them for that. This card is definitely heavily played with. I mean, it looks like somebody ate on top of it or something. Uh, <clears throat> another one. I didn't realize this is at first, um, but I did buy a few holo cards that I was missing from my collection. We got a Dust Clops from EX Sandstorm, okay. Card looks pretty good, okay, from the back. Um, actually, probably one of the mintier looking cards in this entire lot. Just a little bit of like dirt and stuff, but you notice there's this weird look looking mark on here. Okay, flip it over. Bam, there's a huge crease right there. If it wants to show it. Yeah, so. So there's a crease about as big as my fingernail right there. Not happy about it. Um, when I purchase a near mint card. I want a card that does not have creases. I want a card that does not have a lot of wear on them. I mean, this is a cool card, and I only paid, like, I don't know, 2 bucks or two fifty for it or something. It's a rather hard holo card to find since they don't really show up very often. But I'm still pissed that it's damaged. I mean, okay, we'll go on. That's the worst of it. Uh, those two cards out of these this lot... Also, they uh, refunded me for two cards as well that they didn't have, I guess. So that makes it even worse. Um, okay, here. I sleeved the reverses and the hollows. So the ends are reverses. Those aren't too bad. Um, but you can see edgeware on these. I mean, yes, near mint cards can have some edge wear, but some of these are in worse than near mint condition. Some of them are okay. Um, you can see, like, it starts off with some. You can see the corners here. That's a little too damaged for my liking. You know, these are old cards. I get it. They are damaged, but calling them near mint off of that, they should not be doing that. Yes, their prices for most stuff is pretty cheap as well, as long as they're not brand new sets. Um, but we're going to, I'm just going to go through all these. So, got a few more holo cards I needed. A Flygon from EX Dragon. This card's eluded me for a long time. Um, this card is always sold out everywhere, even on eBay, you can hardly ever find it. This one's actually in really nice condition. I'd almost call this thing mint, which is incredible. Um, but it is not very often that Troll and Toad sends me mint cards as well. So uh, this and Absol were the two cards I need to complete. Uh, the EX Dragon set. Um, Absol, I've got like three of it in reverse. I need the hollow version. But I use one of the reverses as a placeholder, so that set is complete technically. I just need to get the hollow foil version of Absol. So that was nice for once. Um, got some other hollow cards here. Uh, three more hollows. We have a couple legendary 
Treasures, uh, Hollow Cards, Verzion, and Zekrom. I bought a Victini from Strike Zone, but it came damaged as well, so it's not just Troll and Toad that doesn't know how to correctly label their conditions of their cards. Um, these ones are actually pretty good. They're a newer set, so you would think they'd be better conditions. Here we have a High Dragon, completes my Dragon's Exalted set, black and white 6 I think it is. Um, this is well, okay, it looks pretty good until you look on the back. There are literally thousands of scratches on the back, like the entire back is scratched up. I don't know if you guys can see that in the light or not, but it, it's pretty bad. Um, it looks near mint at first glance until you look in the light and you see there, wow, there's like 50,000 scratches. I think you can see it there, there's a ton. I don't know, another thing I'm not really happy about, they don't sleeve anything. So let's say you have a first edition Shining Charizard at Troll and Toad, okay? They're just going to throw it in a card box, $200 card, not sleeve it. It's pretty bullshit. They should definitely uh, take better condition of their cards. I mean, these are penny sleeves for a reason. They cost a penny. And if you buy a case, they cost half a penny. Like, is it that hard to do? <sighs> yes, guys, I'm so sick as well. So, and I am ranting a little bit, but trolling. Troll and Toad pisses me off. Strike Zone Online pisses me off a bit. Um, the Strike Zone Online order I made, it was about a month or so ago. I ordered like 350 cards, okay? Um, most of them were actually pretty good condition. There were still probably 25 or so that were not near mint in my books, but uh, their conditions were better. Their prices are cheaper as well, which is nice. But we have a bunch of... Uh, like older generation stuff here that I just needed for towards my sets. I think a couple of these completed some sets, some other ones just gotten closer. But Loose Surge's Electabuzz, non hollow rare, that's a badass artwork. I miss looking at this card. I used to have it when I was younger. So, uh, this is uh, Gym Heroes. These are all like, I think, non hollow rares and stuff. Brock Stuck Trio from Gym Challenge. First edition Neo Genesis Don Fan, rare. First edition arcade game Neo Genesis. Mary, same set, first edition. Time Capsule, same thing. And then we have a couple of Neo 3 non holo rares. Sneasel. And Sudowoodo, those are, t I think, two out of the four I'm missing, so I'm only missing two cards from the set. And I believe they are both non holo rares. But, um, Troll and Toad was sold out of them, and... Basically, there's not very many other online websites besides eBay that carry old singles, so... <clears throat> I'll get them eventually. I think one might be, like, an... Uh, it's Neo 2, I need an Umbreon for them, but... Whatever. Do still need quite a few first editions for these sets as well, but I count first edition and unlimited as separate sets. We have a Light Lantern. Still rares. This is Neo 4, Destiny, and a Thought Wave Machine. Same thing. Rare. We have a few, or maybe more than a few, EX era cards back from 2003 to 2006 or 7. We have a Gorbis from Hidden Legends, I believe. I think I bought all the Hidden Legends rares I needed. I think they were sold out of one of them. Or, wait, oh, that one's a Hidden Legends one that's damaged, so I gotta replace that. I mean, I could open up a case with Troll and Toad and be like, I want the dollar refund or I want you to send the correct cards, but it's so much of a hassle, guys. I've went through it before several times. 
They try to get me to ship the cards back. I'm like, okay, pay for shipping then. I'm not going to spend a dollar or two shipping these back to you when the cards cost two bucks. Masquerade. Matang. Relicanth, that's a cool artwork. Tropius. I think this is one of them. Um, um, when I ordered from Strike Zone Online, there were three cards I think that they didn't have. They said they sent me a refund as well, and I didn't re receive the refund, so I was out like a dollar or something, which sucks, but didn't take the time to contact them about it. I was like, whatever. Uh, Team Rocket Returns Rare, Quagsire. EX Deoxys, some non hollow rares. We have Deoxys, attack form, I think. There's the defense form. I think I'm still missing one other form as well that I don't have yet. But I'm only missing a few cards from these sets now. Most of the time it's just non hollow rares or like a couple commons on commons. Um, EX. What is it? Deoxys. Uh, Nicario Rare. I had one of these that's pretty damaged, so. Well, this one has Edgeware again, but I think it's in better condition than the other one. This is a cool card for a non hollow card. A Rayquaza non hollow rare. That was the only copy Troll and Toad had. Lucky I got that. Another Tropius. Uh, Rampardos. Um. From, I think, Mysterious Treasures. This completes my set completely. I have common to level X or whatever, secret rare. This one, though, is in worse condition than it's supposed to be. Look at the bottom. I wouldn't really consider that near mint. I don't know what you guys consider it. I would probably consider it good condition. Maybe excellent. Maybe. Um, non hollow rare from Platinum. Or this isn't a rare, it's an uncommon. Monferno. For some reason I didn't have one. I think that's one of like three cards on this one. And uh, Explode Rare from Supreme Victors. And we'll end off here with five reverses. Um, black and White and X and Y series. So... From Plasma Storm, Vanillish, and Rialu. Uh, these two reverses completed my master set of Plasma Storm. I am pretty close to a second set, so I might go about continuing to finish that in the future. Before selling off my, all my extra stuff. <clears throat> and um, these last three cards are... Flash Fire reverses that I was missing. So from Flash Fire we have Flabebe. Drudigon, that's a, a rare, cool looking card. It's a hollow normally in the set. And a Pidgeotto. So those three reverses completed my master set of Flash Fire. Also pretty close to a second, a third, probably like eight sets <laughs> for that set. I've opened so much of that. Um, Ultra rare wise, I think I need another Toxic Rock EX, which is like four bucks. I'll just pick it up when I get a chance. So that second set is almost complete too, but that completes my first master set, guys. Um, so that's it. Sorry about the ranting here. It's just really annoying when you get cards like this that are not in the condition stated. Um, thanks for watching though. I got a good, maybe it was more than 25 cards. It might have been like 40-something cards. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll get more videos up in the future as well. Uh, as time goes on, I'll get some more B B BCBMs and just purchase little amounts of cards I need for my collection uh, to finish off sets. For now, I'm not going to do any big openings for a while. Um, I still have boxes that I opened that I recorded for you guys to watch, like Emerald Break and some more Flashfire stuff. And it goes on and on and on. 
Um, gonna try and spread those out a bit to give me some time to save some money up for a vehicle. Um, I, I'm at the point where I have to. I need to save money instead of spending it. But, um, I hope everybody enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed. And, uh, I am accepting PSA cards for grading. Send me a message if you're interested. I will link the video in the underbar below. Take care, everybody. Bye.